Hey guys, how you guys doing? Um, sorry it's a little dark in here, but uh, yeah, um, so I wanted to record this video because I know I recently uploaded, not too long ago actually, but um, um, I kind of went through a lot of things the last week, um, I think mainly because uh, I'm having finals right now. I actually have a lot of stuff to do by next Wednesday and uh, making a video is probably not the best thing, not the, the best, um, uh, what do you call it, decision, I guess. But um, um, I don't know. I just have a lot on my mind and I kind of, I mean, like, you know, I, I'm making these videos for you guys because I feel like, you know, that I can definitely, like, reach out um, and at least, like, make my journey somewhat of a positive thing for other people, you know, if I can help somebody else along the way. Um, but it has always also became, like, a therapy for me, you know. For me to deal with my everyday you know emotions and things and actually I wanted to uh, um, talk about mental health again I know I like you know brushed up on it um, in the past videos but I just kind of want to really just you know have that conversation again because um, you know it's actually been a long journey um, I just actually recently like earlier this year started having the tics but anxiety I mean I've been having it for over six years now so I've been struggling with really really bad anxiety like crippling anxiety um, and had made some progress um, you know but it's not until early January this year that I start having these tics so this is still sort of fresh um, and but I was always like, I mean, throughout the six years of having anxiety and depression and, you know, a along with other, some other things, um, but mostly stem from anxiety. Um, it, it started with, I remember being really ashamed. Well, it started with being very confused because I don't know what was happening to being ashamed because I, I just know that I shouldn't feel this way. You know, I shouldn't feel... Um, like, you know, like very anxious at a ca like ca coffee shop, for example, or somewhere really relaxing, or, you know, around my family, around my friends. Um, it's, you know, normal people uh, wouldn't have these emotions. So, you know, I was feeling very ashamed. I knew something was wrong, but um, I couldn't help it, you know. And the more I felt ashamed and scared, the worse it got. So... I think that was the first step of the prog pro progress. Um, sorry about my stuttering. I since the tick started, or like actually my stuttering, my stuttering started a few months ago. Um, that I just tumble on my words all the time now. But um, yeah, so um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, so I went through this like kind of feeling ashamed to really trying really, really hard to accept um, anxiety. And, you know, I did things that might sound really weird to, to people that haven't gone through this. Um, but like I went to the mall and like pretended I was a student, you know, asking for like doing a, a survey or some sort and just talk to strangers and like with a clipboard, you know, taking notes and things like that just to challenge my anxiety. Um, I, I will always have a panic attack when I sit at cafes. And um, so I will go there on purpose and just to freak out just to see how long I can last, you know, and things like that. And that really, and I mean, that gave me some confidence, you know, as far as dealing with panic attacks because I literally have panic attacks like probably 20 30 times 40 times a day not even kidding um so yeah so and then throughout that process I learned to accept that I have anxiety and became very 
vocal about it, I would say. Like, I wasn't ashamed of it so much anymore. Um, I would tell people all the time, hey, I have anxiety or I feel really depressed or whatsoever. But, you know, um, deep down, though, there is definitely the the whole tick thing that I'm still dealing with. And uh, um, yeah, that I mean, if you see some of my other videos, like, for example, when I the most what I'm very, very insecure about, I mean, I'm not even as insecure about my shoulder shrugs or like my other ticks as much anymore or like, you know, but the one I'm ashamed of the most is when I do this and for like a long period of time. So I'll just keep doing this and like it won't stop. And it just, I just hated it so much. It was like the tick that I hate the most, you know? And um, so, you know, I, there's still some parts of it that I hide from other people because I can't, I can't see them possibly accepting that because I can't. But, you know, it's come a long way. Um, as I'm talking about how I was so scared of going to coffee shops and things like that. Um, I just realized because I just came from one today. You know, I'm still anxious there. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not like I'm just super chill now. But the anxiety has definitely gotten a lot better. Um, also, thanks to for doing neurofeedback, which I also have, like, talked about in my other videos. Um, if you want to check that out. But, um, yeah, but I through all of this, I still go through, you know, I, I, I you know, I think I am depressed but like I have good days and I have bad days but when I hit my bad bad days which it was actually a few days ago I hit a rock bottom again and this happens very often actually like once a month or something for a few days and I could not get out of bed um you know I could not get my head out of sadness and gray and and taking you know that's all I could think about and I lost the will to live and um, but like I guess because it happens quite often I know what it is I, as, 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 as sad as I feel um, I knew it's temporary and that's what I keep telling myself that it's temporary and you know during those times I know what to do to make me feel better which is I call I always call my best friend and just stay on the phone like just be with be with someone if that make any sense so I have these tools that I can use to get me out of this and then it's the worst time also because it's finals right now and I have a lot of projects and I literally spend probably three four days in bed or not doing anything productive because I couldn't physically um, not going to school or anything you know and you know I had to crawl out of the hole and like catch up with projects which I'm gonna do right after this video but um I just that feeling is so scary and uh, so I guess I just I, it just reminded me like I, I wanted to reach out to you guys and just let you guys know like people don't talk much about um, the mental impact of you know having disorders like for example dystonia or Tourette's or just general tick disorder or anxiety um, you know people just the, most people don't think about the mental stress a person has to go through with these kind of conditions and um, uh, I, I guess I just want to you know let you guys know that it's normal like what you're going through the depression the just doubting yourself, you know, wanting to hide, and all of that is normal. None of that is not like out of place. Um, you are normal. Um, yeah, I, I know you could feel very, you could feel very different. You know, um, you're not like everyone else, and. Um, um, yeah, so, I, I don't know, guys, I forgot what I was going to say, actually. My neck hurts really bad, so I'm just stretching. Um, and actually, tomorrow is my birthday, so, <laughs> um, yeah, 
but I got finals, so I'm not doing anything fun. Um, but yeah, I guess one good thing that came out of this is I definitely learned empathy big time. Um, and sometimes I have high expectations of other people. Like I would tell people that, hey, um, you know, I have tic disorder, I have this, or I feel depressed, or blah, 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 and expect people to understand or expect people to maybe not understand, but like show empathy, you know, care, or like ask me about it. And, but, and, and these are people that are, I would think fairly, like I, I would think they would care about me. But the thing is, and then I get disappointed because they don't, you know, do things I, ex like, they don't give me the attention or, or ask me about, you know, follow-up questions rather versus just like, you know, if I tell them, hey, like, I'm just not feeling good, I'm feeling really depressed and, you know, it's, I'm in a really bad place right now. And people just say, hey, like, I'm really sorry. Like, um, like I guess what I'm trying to say is people want to be, and like, they'll say, hey, I'm really sorry, you know, um, and I'm glad you're doing better now. Usually they ask me like afterwards, you know, like, oh, I'm doing, I'm glad you're doing better now, blah, blah, blah. It just kind of, I guess I realized that people don't really want to be there to walk the walk with you, but they want to be at the end of the tunnel, you know, like they want to be there waiting for you. And um, I'm actually, I was actually kind of talking to this guy and, you know, being that as emotional as I am, um, and, and because I'm talking to him, so, you know, I guess I had a higher expectation from him than from other people, and, and when I told him things, I expected him to say, hey, like, let's hang out, you know, I want to make sure that you're okay, rather he just says, like, hey, like I said, like, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, blah, blah, blah. I hope you feel better, like, very simple, very straight to the point, and, I actually had a talk with him I just wanted to see like you know so I, I was because he I think he asked me again like hey how are you feeling better or something and I was and I just kind of you know like told him hey like yeah well I'm feeling better now but this is why I was you know feeling really bad and you know he said something that was very um, very real like nurse no sugar coating um, he's like that really sucks what you're going through, um, but that's something you have to go through. You have to deal with and accept, because I don't know the emotions that that's from that personally. Um, it sounds very cold, harsh, but you know I thought about it and it's true. He, if I never went through these things, I I would not have the ability to like even. I guess sympath like empathize with that, you know, like so it made me realize that a lot of times you know our expectations might be unrealistic. Um and you know, at the end of the day the fight is ours, our own. We have to fight it and um but, you know, I think community is, it's important, you know, knowing that there's people out here like, uh, like you, um, uh, you're not alone, um, but, you know, stay strong, um, there's gonna be bad days, but it's temporary, it's always temporary, um, no matter how bad you feel right now, trust me, I was just feeling like that a few days ago. Um, you will feel different. I'm not saying that you'll feel better forever, but you know, just know that it's something that you're gonna have to deal with. So it's better to accept that truth earlier than later. And because once you accept it, then you can start to move on and learn how to cope with it.
or how to better deal with it. I don't want to say cope, but, you know. Yeah, so, um, um, I guess that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Um, um, I'll keep you guys up uh, updated. Um, hopefully I can upload some more videos once final is done. I'm going to have more free time. And I hope you guys are doing well too. Um, you know, remember that if there's something bothering you or whatever, you can always leave a comment here. Um, I will always, I will do my best to re respond. Um, you know, as long as life is not getting in the way of things. And uh, I will see you guys next time.